everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Lady Mina and I have a later update for this week's video. Reason being, if you are a member of servers 5 and 6, you already know about this. But if you are not and you are not part of the Discord, then servers 5 and 6 have merged officially. We are now a mega server. Unfortunately, that caused some issues with the update for this week. This week we've had an absolutely massive update um, with many things, not just the two events that we have going on this week, but also a lot of uh, UE changes, that is the game user interface has changed, a lot of things are different now, uh, a lot of things have been cleaned up, a lot of things are easier to use, and um, different, different things like that, but the two big updates, the server merge and the big game update, effectively locked servers 5 and 6 out of the game for about 15 hours yesterday. We were not able to access anything, which is rather unfortunate as I am a member of server 6. So I was not able to record yesterday's video and I'm only now getting to it today. I, lay. Uh, I hope you all understand though. Let's go ahead and get into what we have this week. So, as usual, we'll start with our VIP suit, and this week she is a $100 posed suit. Her name is Rose Witch. Let's take a look at her non-posed version. She has a broomstick. She has two, at least two cats that I can see. She has this beautiful pink hat, and if you look very closely, there, under her hat, is a cat's ear, sh and she also has a tail. She is, in fact, a cat girl. Uh, the ears are attached to the wig. Um, so, if you are going to spend less money for about $20, $12.80, oh, $30. For $30, you get the wig. Um, for $10.80, that is $15, you get up to the hat. So, if you are... Part of the merged servers like I am and planning to purchase Phoenix Gift or anything else, totaling $15, you will get only parts of this suit. She is $100 in total. Um, her pose looks like this. She has this stunning little um, neon heart that I don't see in the unposed version. I'm not sure where it is or if it's an item that's um, exclusive to the posed version, but you can see her, she is beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at her in a little bit more detail. Uh, you can see there is a face option because there is a makeup that has come with this event. Now, this makeup, she is wearing it, however, it is not VIP. This makeup is part of the weekly event, so you can purchase it with gold and not even a lot of gold. So, the makeup at least we will all have, and we'll go over that in just a moment. Let's go ahead and change her pose. Again, she has a lot of bats. She has, back behind this cat, a haunted house, uh, an array at the bottom, absolutely stunning little socks. She is, um, she is Lolita Tag 16,000. Now, the $100 suits are way stronger in terms of their tags than the $50 suits. That is something to keep in mind if you have the money for her, if you want her. They are worth purchasing for that reason. This week we have Lolita in the duo show for our server and I can tell you that nobody can defeat Rose Witch and her uh, Lolita sister, her $100 sister, uh, Sweet Rabbit. So that is, if you do not know, she is a Another $100 posed suit in the Lolita category. Oh, we can use the new search option, right. So we now have, uh, search options have been changed up so we can search from the massive collection screen. You can see that the collected suits is now different. Um, so if I scroll through here and I select Lolita, then I can, uh, it will automatically take me to the sweet treat pool, which is back officially now. So that is a permanent pool again, so we can get to that. Um, but I do not want that. I want gorgeous clothes and I want to look through what has the Lolita tag in gorgeous clothes. Which is Sweet Rabbit right here. She is also, she was $100. She is another Lolita tag suit with uh, close to 16,000 uh, score. So if you have this suit, then this, uh, the Cat Witch 
is the only other suit that can compete with you in duo show and if you have both of them i'm jealous so let's take a look at her other tags she is also cute at seven excuse me she's cute at seven thousand magic at six thousand mysterious active and sweet at just about three thousand uh, let's take a look at her poem her blonde hair is like the roses dancing to the wind outside kiddo why do you dare not open your eyes and look at me i heard the witch will eat the kids who don't sleep at night the witch is sitting by the window and stroking her black cat what those adults are fooling you they're just trying to get you to go to sleep he gathers his courage and looks at the witch's face she's holding her chin with one hand and looking at him with a smile kiddo do you want to come and take a look at my castle okay so that's a really cute little halloween story she's talking to a kid and somebody's gone and told her that she eats kids uh, or someone's told a little boy that she eats kids and she's like no i don't do that that's me as a babysitter i used to tell uh, i used to tell my cousins that all the time uh let's see what else do we have this week it is of course the week of halloween and if if things had gone better this video would have been released yesterday on halloween so happy halloween uh to everybody and happy dia de los muertos to everybody uh who celebrates that that should be coming up if it is not today um let's go ahead and take a look at our halloween event soup and the halloween event itself if you were not a member if you were not playing last year during last year's halloween event then uh great news we have a halloween event um if you did play last year then you remember this one uh it's super super fun i adore the halloween events they are so cute because they also come with matching pranks we'll get into that let's go ahead and take a look at ballet wings she is stunning these wings are stunning and she's an event suit so she is just for gold her total cost is really hard to calculate because she has an updating task list as well as a makeup but one pumpkin equals one gold for this week so that makes the math easy she is actually 6,000 gold uh, well she's 6,000 pumpkins and the makeup is 840 pumpkins however we have an absolutely massive task list this week so I imagine that the total cost of her makeup and her suit is gonna be the same as every other week so about 5,000 total for both items as is usual for these events now you will be delighted to know that the wings are a back piece they are separate to everything you can wear them with any outfit you may have spotted them when we were in my dressing room just a second ago her tags are western 10k dignified 5k lolita uh, 3k so she is also lolita we have a string of lolita uh, tagged suits this week they do tend to do that they try to match up a um, event suit and a VIP suit in the same category so that the free-to-play players have something as well as the VIP players um, and I must say this week's suit is a banger I love the Swan Lake themed suits has anybody else been playing these dress-up games they seem to all have a Swan Lake themed suit eventually usually a pair of them with the white swan and the black swan because the the swan lake has both of them um but we've only got the white swan so i'm wondering if maybe in the future they'll drop a black swan version with some black wings i would love that um i've been distracted so the tags are uh, romantic mysterious and elegant at 2k the other three let's go ahead and take a look at her poem her black hair is circling in the air following the trace i'm looking for her it leads me to a deserted stage. There, her white feathers are swirling down. As you move around, rose petals surround you. At this moment, I'm addicted to this night ballet. A purple swan spreads her wings tonight. She is announcing your arrival on this quiet night. Okay, you can't rhyme night with night, but whatever. Uh, so, looking at her pieces, I do notice she has a bracelet, so you can see the bracelet in a little more detail in here. It's a really beautiful cuff. Um, that, that could match, actually, a couple of other suits. Um, uh, 
we have actually a couple of suits in this sort of blue theme. Uh, the West, the last year's Halloween event, actually, the vampire one is in this color scheme, now that I think about it. So you can match this up with something else. Let me see if I can't find her. Vampire Visit is in a really similar color scheme, actually. So that cuff bracelet might go really well with her, as well as the Red Moon background piece. And now, if you did not play last Halloween and you missed this event and any of the others, I do want to remind everybody that we are coming up on what I believe is the time for them to bring back Good Luck Call. Now, if you were playing back in August, then you remember that Good Luck Call is how the suits return, the event suits return for purchase. Um, so that seems to drop every two months. It dropped sometime last week of August, so it should be back sometime now in November. So do keep that in mind that these suits, whatever price they are, the first time they drop, they add about 2,000 gold to the cost when it returns. So that means if you don't get Ballet Wings right now, when she comes back in Good Luck Call, she will be probably close to 7,000. And the makeups don't come back at all as of this moment. We have not had a returning makeup event. So keep in mind if you are saving up gold, if you are planning for Good Luck Call, remember to start saving now because that should drop sometime this month or early next month if they continue with the two month pattern her makeup right so in the shop for uh ballet wings we can take a look at her makeup it's in the exchange if we scroll down past the items we can see it here uh, and it is here for a total of 840 pumpkins. So I suspect if this goes the same way that these suits always go, that if you do nothing and you spend no gold, then she will be about, the makeup will be free because that's usually how it goes. The makeup is free and you have to pay for the dress, um, or at least the, the free pulls totally cover the makeup. So that should be how that goes. And then a little bit more on top. Let's go ahead and pop into makeup. You can see I'm actually wearing some of the pieces because I love it. Uh, there it is, Cat Witch. So this is the makeup for this event. Um, she has a facial piece that is a facial accessory. Magic Solo is a facial accessory. And I said that wrong about four times in a row. If we head over to Blusher, we can see that Deep Love, this super cute heart blush, comes with this makeup. Um, her eye line is in here somewhere. Uh, thick Lash is right here. She has these new lips called Quick Tongue, but I really love the new eye color. Oh, the new eyeshadow is really nice too. It's like a nice uh, soft eyeshadow. You can see through the other eyeshadows that I have here that we often have like very bold eyeshadows. Um, you can't really see them behind this particular eye because it's quite large. Now is a really soft and cute makeup. A really soft and cute eyeshadow. Um, she also has really nice eyebrows. But the best thing is always the pupils and they are called Heart Spot. Oh my god. Oh, I just realized they're called heart spot because there's little hearts in them and they're cat eye shaped. Oh my god. This is all my love for you. Meow. Oh my god, I forgot there's... Hold on. I forgot that there's also stories in with the makeups. I always forget about that. Now, where is it in here? Cat witch. Eyebrows are very important to a cat, like it's... After I comb my eyelashes for 15 minutes, the medicine is just ready. This is the most popular eye makeup in our world. This is all my love for you, meow. Why the red face, little kitty? When a cat gets angry, she will bite you as well. Let's sew your face and mine together. Ha! <laughs> Good. What on earth? Okay, well, this also has the Lolita tag for 1600 I don't actually know if the makeup tags uh, do anything when you uh, when you apply them to your looks, but that's a really weird story. I'm not completely sure what happened with that, um, but that is the cat eye look. That is her. 
Uh, she's super cute. I, I'm in love with that blush and those eyes. We actually have quite a number of um, sort of cat-eyed pupils. Uh, oops. Scrolling a little fast there. Silver Glass is another favorite of mine. She is a... Uh, she came with the uh, cat girl, the other cat girl suit. Uh, or at least attached to her event. Soft Glaze. We also have another makeup that's dropped this week because we have a new flash pool. So if we come over to the uh, rose... No. Where is it? Here in Halloween, we can see Strange Tales and Strange Fascination. Strange Fascination has the new makeup Lurking Dragon. I don't have any of the pieces for her yet because I haven't done any pulls in the event and I haven't started going through it. Um, the tags are Nature Fairy, Innocent, Dignified, uh, Elegant, and Mysterious. Let's go ahead and take a look at her pull and her pieces. When she was sleeping in her nest, no one knew her name. As soon as she spread her wings and flew up, all the fish were stunned. Soaring in the sky, she bathed in the sunlight. The water where she nested was clear and blue, but had no bottom. People kept calling her, but she didn't answer. When she came out, she brought the heavy wind. The dragon was hovering in the sky, above the clouds. So she is uh, clearly a dragon-based makeup. Now, this makeup does have mixed reviews in the Discord, and I can understand it. Um, I think the individual pieces are quite pretty, and if mixed in with some other parts, they might work a little bit better. But together, the effect is not unlike Dio Brando to me. I don't know why. Or Yoshikage Kira. She looks like a Jojo to me. Like she belongs on Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't know exactly what it is. If it's the combination of events that uh, of pieces that have that effect, but she is um she's an interesting makeup, and I think her pieces are going to look better separately than they do together. But that is that makeup that you can get for completing the pool. Now, last pool. We were given a few extra pulls so that if you spent ten dollars you would open the box uh, and that was for the uh, fairy tales pool this one is called strange tales which is going to be so confusing uh we can just flicker through some of these um oh my god the mermaid she have the mermaid tag actually no, she doesn't have the mermaid tag, but she has a stunning coral piece behind her, Pearl Palace, and she's just the rare suit. This pool has some really, really cool and beautiful things in it. As usual with these pools, we have 14 task pulls, and then we have uh, 10 pulls that you can get for gold here in the store. Now, I'm not sure why this is Wish Chance, and these are fairy lamps. I think it's another bug many of you have probably noticed by now but this update is especially buggy i think because of the sheer amount of stuff that they put in it and it has caused something of an issue with the with the game there's a lot of different bugs there's a makeup bug racing's not working correctly um this right here is an issue but they did so many different changes to the interface that i think that um a lot of things just went wrong. In addition to this, you may have collected some task uh, pulls and had them not appear here in the counter. For example, I should have uh, seven at least of these and I have none. You can see I've uh, not pulled at all because it says here uh, 40. Oh, it says free try down here seven, but nothing up here. What does that mean? Have they separated the free pulls from the gold pulls? Is that what they've done? So as not to confuse people? I don't know. But as usual, we'll have 24 free pulls. And then if you want to spend $10, you can purchase 6 more pulls for a total of 30 pulls. And with 30 pieces of the suit, you can complete a large amount of the makeup. Uh, well, 30 pieces of the pool would give you absolutely everything. But, uh... Let me see, uh, if I come over to collection and we take a quick look at the last pool. 
I wish they would put these in order. I really do. But they're not in order, and that's infuriating. Fairy tales. If we look at fairy tales, we can see how many pieces of fairy tale I have. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I have about 10 pieces of the fairy tale pool, and with 10 pieces of that pool, I was able to complete almost all of the makeup. The only thing I was missing is the facial accessory for that pool. So, if we come back over to Strange Fascination, I had every I got up to 90 stars for that. Now that is, I did pull uh, a couple of pieces from the same suits. It wasn't just one from every suit, and I did manage to get a unique. I was lucky enough to do that. But even with just 10 pieces of the pool, you can complete the makeup or almost completely complete the makeup. So do do the free pulls. Go ahead and do that. All of these pools come back permanently later. So in another month when the next pool drops, this one, well, no, this one will not be coming back in a month, actually. This one will be coming back in several months because they come back when the next pool drops, but we are a couple of pools behind. So expect this pool to come back permanently sometime in the spring but um, you can complete large parts of this makeup I would expect to get to the at least the eye color this time around that's usually as far as I get um, just with the free pulls I spent a little bit more last time because we were given 10 extra pulls so I was able to open the box in the uh, other pool so Let's take a quick look at the clothes view because they've changed something in here. They changed the way they display the drop rates. So you can see now it's a little bit bigger. You have a 2% chance of getting the unique suit and you can see the individual chances for each item. Um, you have almost 4% chance of getting a rare suit. You have an 8% chance of getting an excellent suit and an 11% chance of getting a common suit. And you can see the drop rates for each of these items. In here uh, we can take a look at some of the individual suits if we just very quickly uh, go through them I'm not going to read their stories because there's just too many of them um, and this one is strange tales so we have rain which a lot of these pools have a lot of these suits have the rainproof tag or the fairy tag or both Hydra rise is a snake themed suit Beautiful flying fish. I love the color scheme on flying fish. She's so cute. She's like a beta Flaming dog I think is the most impressive suit in the bunch and that in my I think she even tops the unique for this one in my opinion She's just so different. Are those ears attached? No, the ears are a separate piece Fantastic. So that's another ear set um, That tail looking thing is not a tail or it is a tail, but it's attached to the dress, so it may as well not be a tail. Oh, and her toes are painted. Uh, and kind of singed a little bit. Um, here's Firebird. I mean, it's a phoenix suit. There's always a phoenix suit in every pool, so I'm a little bit bored with them. I can't say there's anything too special about it. Uh, this suit is also stunning, in my opinion. It's another sort of water-themed suit, and I don't think we have any kind of soft pink hair like that in any of the other suits in any of the other pools um, and her back her back piece is one of a kind currently there is nothing in the game that looks like that and then there is of course dragon creator and she has a water dragon as a background piece uh, you might be able to mix and match her with some of the other dragon suit that the other water dragon suit that dropped in the last pool because that piece had um, dragon horns but um, that is Strange Tales. Now, before we leave, let's try to cover some of the uh, massive, massive updates that we had um, this week because the update list is huge and there's a lot and I'm sure many of you did not want to read through that. So let's take a quick look through it. Okay, so a new feature, Servants Legendary, has been added. So I'm just looking through the announcement. I'm going to go through it piece by piece. So if we open up our Servants tab, you can see we have Servant and Collection, and we always had those, but now we have Legendary. And if you look through it, you can see that they have all of the elites here. 
in each pool um, that have been added and you can see here that there are stories for each of them. Now I can't read them even though I have some of these servants like uh, Levi for example I have him very powerful actually he is three purple stars but I can't unlock his story reason being to unlock them you need copies of the servant and you need new copies so having copies in the past doesn't help I should realistically have a lot of these unlocked, but I don't because they I don't have the copies since the update. So for new players, this is going to be fantastic. Those of you in server 28 and onward who don't have a lot of copies of everybody, this will be great because you're going to be collecting those copies as you go along and you're going to be unlocking these stories. Uh, but for those of us in the older servers who already have our teams pretty much set and are not looking for copies of randoms, um, it's not as great, but you need five copies new from this drop date so from halloween and you will unlock the stories and so from what i understand of these stories there's five for each servant and it is telling you about the actual real life person that these servants are based on because they are all based on real life people levi for example i happen to know was a poet um, in a certain dynasty and I can't remember off the top of my head and his poems unfortunately don't translate good at all they're not good in English but I am I have heard some of them in Chinese and they are beautiful to hear in their original language and not very good in their um, in their translated language they may be better in other languages but English does not do him credit uh, likewise, we have some other servants. Where is Zedian? She is in here. So Wu Zedian is a, um, she was a Chinese emperor. She crowned herself emperor. So I imagine her story is going to contain that. And uh, likewise for all of the rest of them, Mulan also. She's debatably a real person. Perhaps she is more legend than fact, but those are going to be really fun and interesting for people to read. I might actually end up unlocking his stories because I do need him. He is on my team and I've never heard of him before, but I'm sure he's also a legendary figure. So that's new feature number one. Uh, let's see, what is next? New feature. Don't know how to cultivate new servants? Don't know how to customize jade skills? Go to recommend and see how other players did it. So let's go ahead and pop Lanling open and what is recommend? It must be in here. Uh, recast. So this is recommending in here. There's also lucky recasting, which we will cover in just a moment. Uh, oh, here it is. So comment suits. Oh, they added suits. Okay, so they're going to be dropping the skins. Okay, so on the Chinese server, there are uh, flash pool events and also for purchase VIP items that are new suits for the servants. So they're a new skin that your servant can wear and it's like a different outfit for your servant. Baldi's skins are some of the best. His, his like bald monk outfit is superseded by all of the special suits that he has where he has long white hair and he like... He looks a little bit like Lord Chu, actually. He's super, super cool. So the fact that they now have um, suits as an option is a little bit scary. We can also rate our uh, servants. So I super like him. Oh, you get, you get coins for rating your servants. Only one servant. Weird. Wait, he has wearing. Servant buff none, servant buff none. Okay, so they all just have wear. Okay. So that is new. They're adding in a new feature. So they're going to be dropping the skin soon. If they've loaded that in, they will be dropping those. So get your wallets ready, I guess. Um, we came in here for recommend. So this is the top players on my servant, the new merged servant, and they have um Levi, a lot of servants. Oh hey! So this is all servers, okay, because she is on the Discord. Hi, Suyan. Uh, Asters is also somewhere in the Discord, I think. So hello, everybody. You are now on the worldwide charts. If you're a top player, you're here, and we can see your um, 
your servants. So that's cool. Hi, Loft. Uh, that means she is the number one player across all servers with Lee Bai on her, or with Lan Ling on her team. That's awesome. Am I on this list at all? Probably not. Oh, maybe further down? No. It only goes to 20, and I am not up there because that's uh, very high power. That's awesome. So we can see then who else has these servants on their teams uh, and what power they're at. I don't know what the like does. Oh, it gives me coins. And I can share to the world or the guild somebody else's team. That's cool. And it also has recommended jades down here for Shang Yu. Usage 5%. So does that mean 5% of people with Shang Yu have that jade? Hey, like who? Wait, wait, that used to sound like uh, Wei Wuxian to me. I'm not entirely convinced that's not the same voice actor. Hey, like who? Yin Yi Chao Ba. Uh, so recommend for him. People, oh, 10% of people with him have double AD. That should be higher. That, oh, Alexi. Sh we fought against her many times in the, um, in the Royal Assembly. She's a powerhouse. Her Li Bai is terrifying. Four stars. My goodness. Okay, so that's really cool, and you can see what's the most recommended jade. Double AD does not come recommended enough. 10% is low. It should be way higher. Everybody should have double AD for their warriors, and everybody should have double AP for their um, strategists. So that's actually super, super useful. Definitely look through recommend. Uh, let's see. Assistant Yanair will do your shopping for you. So if we come over to the home, there's two things going on in the home right now. Um, three if you count lag. So you can see Yan Air now has a uh, fourth and fifth category. She's had sweeping for a while and watering and reaping, but now she has guard dog and shopping. So if you go into shopping, the way you use this is you come in to make plans. You can see I've got pork here. I want to buy pork. And I have set the price range for how much I want to buy. Let's go ahead and say 20 to 32 is the price that I am willing to accept for pork. And I want one. So I'm going to hit confirm and I'm going to hit confirm. After shopping, the gold will be removed. Then I'm going to hit confirm purchase. The plan is made. So Yanair is going to go look and see if she can find pork in that price range and bring me back one from my friends list. And she did. She spent 32 gold buying me one pork. We can also come in to make plans and add any other ingredient that we often shop for. So if pork is needed a lot. You can also buy seeds and baits. And so you can categorize everything. So for grass, I... I don't care what price of grass I will pay, and I will buy the maximum amount of grasses for coins. So that's estimated cost is ridiculously high, but there's no way she's going to come back with that many. So let's go ahead and see how many she can buy for me. None. She didn't bring me any. Nobody has grass this week, I guess. Or nobody has 99 grasses, it could be. So let's change it to 10, because that's more likely. Confirm. Plans made. Purchase. Is it gonna work? It did, okay, so she got me more pork and she got me more grass. So that's how it works, you just choose whatever you're shopping for and then you set the amount. It seems like you can't set the max amount that's like in unfeasible. And you can just hit purchase as many times as you want to. Uh, I'm going to go through this of course and set it for all of the things that I buy the most um, from in here. Of course I'm going to set spice to the absolute lowest cost because that's expensive, but um, so these are items that are often purchased that we often need so definitely go through and set yon air to shop for you that's a super super useful thing now let's go into guard dog so if you come over to your house and come over to your garden you can see you have a little um a shiba i think this is i don't know dogs very well but i think that's some kind of shiba sleeping by your vegetables now if you did not know um people can come steal from you so if we come over to it's in visit record so visit record so you can see if people have come to your store you come to your house and they collected vegetables so i haven't had anybody who wasn't a friend come to my house but if somebody who is not one of your friends comes to your house and collects something from you for example um chrysanthemums because those are quite expensive 
If somebody who's not your friend comes to your house and collects chrysanthemums, they're just stealing. You don't get that later. If your friend comes to your house and collects, they're helping you harvest. So they take one and then you get um, however many you were supposed to get. So if you plant one, like, if you plant one rose, you're going to get like five roses out of that harvest and your friend will get one or two for helping you harvest. But if someone who's not your friend comes into your house and they harvest your five roses, you get zero. So that is why the guard dog exists because the guard dog will not let non-friends come to your house and harvest so that is a new feature that you can pay five dollars a month for um i don't know what happens if somebody gets bitten by the dog uh you can see he's off duty oh my god there's another one Okay, so we can't unlock the other dog right now, but there's two dogs you can buy to guard your house, so that's cool. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to buy that. I just I just don't care enough. If you want to steal from me in my garden, I'm not going to put in the effort to stop you. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. What's the next thing? This is super important. Secondary passwords. So... You can now go into the avatar settings and click secondary password to lock your account with another password and it's password protected. The problem is you have to input your secondary password every time you want to dismiss, evolve, transform a servant, combine equipment, sell arm or disarm your equipment, uh, combine, dismantle, recast, arm, disarm, uh, recast jades. Uh, if you are going into your friends list and changing adding friends or removing friends, you have to enter your password. If you are building, leaving, or dismissing a guild, you have to enter your password. So, that's great, but that's a lot of times I'm going to have to enter my password a day. So, that's something to think about if you are um, security conscious. New feature, Jade Upgrade. To enable you, your power further, a new feature, Dragon Jade Upgrade, is open. Upgrade a Dragon Jade to get a basic attribute buff. When it is upgraded to a specific tier, you can level it up. Don't worry, the upgraded levels will be reset if you recast the Jade, but the effects will be preserved. So, go to Bag Special Dragon Jade Upgrade. So, Bag Special. I don't have one of my Dragon Jades in here, but let's go into Combine, I think is what it wants. Uh, achievement, Skill View, maybe not. Do I have to put one of my Dragon Jades in the bag in order to access that? Upgrade is right here. Okay. So, oh, it's at cost. Okay. How does this work? So this is for people who've already, so it looks like Dragon Jade is the top Jade, but it also says don't worry if you recast the jade the effect oh if you recast the jade the effects will be preserved okay so that's a recast so dragon jade is probably the highest level jade that we are going to get so you can upgrade your jade and the way to do that is to sacrifice a crane jade is this a crane jade yeah sacrifice a crane jade and then you can power up your uh you can upgrade your jade that added 2,000 power to me, and it added... It changed nothing on my skills, but it upped the HP of this. So if I recast this Jade, which I might eventually, um, the skills will change, but the upgrades won't. So this is now a plus 2 Dragon Jade, and it adds 3,000 more HP, and it adds 5.5% HP to my Servant. Oh, there's upgrade details. Wait. Yeah, these are upgrade details. So if I take this to level 20, which is the maximum, God, I have to, I have to sacrifice 20 crane jades for that, and God knows how many cranes. Number two, passive skill level plus one. Oh. Jade HP plus 2,300 HP plus 0.25%. Is that H? Okay, so it adds 2,000... HP every upgrade and it adds 0.25% HP every upgrade. So 2000 times 20, we're looking at 2000 times 20 is going to be 40 
20k increase in your servant's health for having one maxed out dragon jade plus five percent hp increase so it'll take it up to ten percent for getting all the way up to level 20 there is also uh here at level 10 there is a number one passive skill plus one and at 20 there is number two passive skill plus one so right now these are at plus three and plus two which means you could take a rare skill up another level to plus four and a uh this skill would go up to plus three making it a rare skill so that's awesome what's this yeah so that's that so uh already strong players are going to become extremely strong very soon upgrade of jade recast is upgraded and skill recommendation is available skill recommendation was already available for a while um, if you come over to recast, it's right here, so I'm not sure why they added that now, but they didn't tell us it was there before. Or maybe they just cleaned it up a little bit, I'm not sure, but it's in there. Um, let's head over to mates because there is something new in the mates shop. So take a look at the new mates interface screen. Um, isn't it awesome? So now they are all side by side and you can at a glance tell the power of each of your mates. You don't have to flick through the fan anymore. This unfortunately means my mate series is a little out of date now. Um, but since almost everything is still true in the mate section, I'm just going to leave it. So you can see outing is down here now, but it's the same as it always was. Rankings is here, so this is a daily ranking board of how many gifts you've given your mates for the day. Um, there is the daily task list is right here and the task list is newly updated. We have a lot of UI updates So a lot of things have been updated in the terms of the way they look um, The new interfaces are a little square a little cleaner a little bit bigger um, So that's really awesome. You can also see that each of the mates now has uh, their title listed under their name So Lee Chong Hao is listed as the Emperor. Hong Zhu is listed as Lord Chu uh, the doctor is listed as the doctor and Lu Shu is listed as a concubine. Uh, we can go ahead and take a look at what else has been added in here. So Lord Chu's oh, stories are all in. I will be reading all of these. I have quite a lot of them unlocked. Uh, they're all really fun and we can access them as you level him up all the way to level 79. They're all little mini stories about him. We already had them for the emperor and I'm sure with time the others will also come in. If we come to his profile, you can see that his temper and his information are locked, but those will be unlocked as you finish the stories, just like they are for the Emperor. So if we come in and take a look at his Cherish, you can see that I have a lot of things unlocked for him, because I have a lot of his stories unlocked. Um, don't want to show any spoilers, so I'm not going to go through them, but that is that. If we come over to right here under uh, store, you can see there is now favorite dish you can cook for your mates. Their favorite dish is directly from their mates screen. So I don't have to wonder about what Lord Chu wants anymore or what his favorite dishes are. They are here and I can see whether I can make them immediately. You can see I don't have all of the special and good recipes unlocked. I should have all of the common recipes unlocked though. Did they add more recipes? I have all of the common recipes unlocked. So why? Have I just never given him that recipe? Is that what it is? Well, now I'm a little bit confused. I, sh I have all of the common recipes unlocked, so I don't know what that's about. Um, but you can access the mates' dishes from within there now. There's also something called return gifts for old players. If you're watching this video, you're not an old player and you're probably not returning. But if you have anybody, who, if you have any friends who haven't come back in a little while, go ahead and let them know that if they have been gone for more than 30 days and they have a heroin level 70 or higher, then they have the free gift coming in. It's a return gift, so they will come in for 14 days and get 28,000 gold as a return gift. So they will get a little bit gold, uh, looks like. 2,000 gold every single day that they come back if they haven't logged in for more than 30 days. So hopefully that brings a lot of returning players back. Uh, we already went over monthly dog card. Oh, okay. So this is really fun. So if we come over to your card, 
this didn't really have much of a purpose before and it didn't look like this before you can see that i have a fancy fancy banner so if you come in there and you click through it you can set any of your paintings to your banner so let's go ahead and click on shared mind hit next and you can choose any part of shared mind that you want to be your banner so i want this part to be my banner so i'm going to click on it and now it's set as my banner you can see my age my birthday uh, my charm level you can see that I choose all the foxy choices uh, and then you can see my formation down here if you click on this little thing right here there are prizes for uh, unlocking sides uh, side endings so these are all of the different ways that you can die in the game and different stories so there's a chapter one death that I never found uh, and there are a lot of cha this is chapter 13 death there's all these different deaths that I never got because I didn't choose that way, but you can click through them and it will tell you the story of how you were killed. And then you can just skip through that. And if it will let me skip that, I'll have to hit back. Okay. Um, it'll do that. And then there's a share option. And if you click on the share option, you get to this screen. So here you can see time flying. It's been 379 days since the very first day that I logged on. So that's October 18th. Fun fact, October 18th is the day that I received a faithful fan for playing for one year. So that means I never skipped a day in any of the time that I played. If you look at Palace Romance has seen your 10 ups and downs. That's how many deaths I actually did unlock. I only died 10 times. Luckily with 195 servants, your power has reached 7 million. So that is how many servants are currently in my bag. True confidant, Lady Mina and Li Hongzhi have known each other since they were kids. Nothing can separate them. Palace life is very lonely, but Eve keeps you company. So that is, um, that is the mate I have the highest uh, relationship with, and my friend who has the highest friendship level in the game. So this is a really fun little screen. It tells you a little bit about yourself and how you've been playing. Um, I'm really happy that I have Li Hongzhi and Li Hongzhi for both of those, and you can hit share the world or the guild if you want to do that actually i think i will i will post this to the world chat and that means my friends can now access that so have a lot of fun unlocking that that's really cool um a new version of my mood is on so let's go ahead and click through mood oh my god we can use chibis as our moods uh flowering save just to see it so now we can set a chibi for our mood can we change it back to letters though no it's only chibis now Oh, well, that's really unfortunate. So they took away our of option to write what we want, but now we can do a chibi. So that's kind of cool, kind of sad. Uh, I'm gonna do the cat. Okay, so now we have a new version of mood and dynamic stickers have been added. So if I come into the chat and I come over here to the stickers box, you can see that there are three stickers. So these gaming emojis are free for all players. This is the first set of VIP emo emojis that we already have. And this is the VIP emoji set that is the second set. So if you are a VIP player, you can choose these and they are... Uh, animated so they're animated emojis um, some of them you might recognize from playing in the discord achievement button has been added to equipment com combination elite pool palace fight and recruit pool click it to view achievements achievements ah okay so now you can access this uh, achievement from here you don't have to access it from the achievement page so that's really useful uh, Lord Chu's story is updated we already did that Closed search, we already went over the closed search previously. Previous rankings have been added to the daily relationships so you can tap so you can see where you ranked yesterday. After the update, you can go to your friends and remark your friends. So if I come over to my friends. Oh. Uh so if we come over here and for example I want to remark Ace because they've just chatted in there. I can click on remark and I can remark them. I don't know if they can see it, but if I add this, I need two to 12 letters. Okay, so it can't be a character. Uh, what if I just edited successfully? Oh, it changes their name for me. So it's no longer Ace Broom, now it's just Ace. Uh, and I can't, um, I don't remember how to spell their name otherwise. So that's just what it is now. 
Uh, so that's interesting. So you can remark your friends, you can change their names. I think that only changes their name on your side though. So that'll be helpful if you have a real life friend you're playing with and you can't remember what their game name is. They changed how promotion test works. So now if you get the same score as another player, the person with the highest power will be activated. So if I, for example, tonight I entered the promotion for the next level of the game, uh, so I entered promotion for grade one. I'm currently in grade two. If I have the exact, per if I have another perfect score with somebody else or the same exact score, whoever has the pi higher power will go up to grade one. Costume duo solo show sees the lowest score reset, and duo show sees its topic change in turn. I don't know what that means. So what do you mean I can see the lowest score records? No. Rankings? Remember to like people and get some coins. Awards? No. What is my rank? Oh my god. Server, um, my rank is not normally that this bad, but we have had merged servers now, so all of my rankings are messed up. So I don't know what that means for costume duo show. Improved guild battle. You can't leave your present guild and join another one from 18 to 21 30 on Saturday before its settlement. Okay, so don't try to leave your guild on Saturday. Optimize the competition with bigwigs in the guild. I'm not sure what's been optimized with the guild with, with the bigwigs. Oh, that's optimized. Wait. Optimized competition with big wigs. Is that this right here? Oh, this is what it's talking about. Right, so if you come into the guild wheel battle, you can now sweep for... You can choose how many times you want to sweep and how much gold you want to spend on a sweep. So, example, I'm going to go ahead and sweep Lady Ja three more times for 150 gold. I don't have to sweep individually anymore. I can just do it all at once. That's also true of the training hall and a couple of other places where you have to sweep um, like this, so that's super, super useful. Okay. Um, when a guild reaches level 5, its leader or deputy can switch the auto unlock, so I have done that for the Empress, you can see auto unlock right here, so as long as my guild has money, the Empress will automatically unlock every single day, and only your guild leader can set it, which is why I had to set it. Uh, if you have insufficient gold assets, the Empress will not be unlocked. So, if you if you buy a big upgrade for your guild and you can't then afford to uh, unlock the Empress, she just won't unlock. Um, each player can challenge the Empress five times a day. We had that already. The free challenges and purchase challenges with Lady Jang and the Empress are refreshed every day. That already that also already existed. Optimize the blocking function in the blacklist system. Now you can no longer see a player's chest uh, texts in cross server after you block them. So apparently they could see you in cross server. Uh, so the items for anniversary, fair flower, do and fall in red are now coins. The beauty lamps have been transformed into wish lotuses. Wu Yan papers are now common recruit papers, and that is that. Oh. No, it's not. There is something else that they didn't really include on this list. So if we come over to title and we go to concubine uh, authority, this is now different. So that used to be slap. Now it is pinch. That used to be abolish. Now it is challenge. This used to be poison. And now it is trick. Um, there might also be something else that's changed, but I don't know what else has changed so if we come over here to trick you used to have to buy a bottle of poison now you have to buy itching powder so what that does i think is still the same it removes a player's hp by five percent for 30 minutes it's not like a lot but it's something i guess i'm sure there's more things that have changed in the game but this video is already an hour long so i'm gonna catch you all in the next one bye bye Oh, remember to like and subscribe. I really do enjoy seeing all of the people uh, following my channel and it does give me motivation to keep making these videos and keep researching all of the different things that happen in this game. If there's anything you want to see a video on, go ahead and let me know. I'm always looking for more video ideas. Catch you all in the next one. Bye bye. If we... Oh, stop it.
I'm a little buggy. So magic sewing is a facial expressory. Jesus. Magic sewing is a facial expressory. 